online tournaments in the New York area. Uh, he's played uh, Lights Out. He's played uh, Dippin' Darts, Evil O, that you guys know. Oh uh, that's going to be uh, representing uh, more clubs as we get into that. So he has the experience. He just doesn't necessarily have the MCS experience. Well, that's one way not to give up a return. <laughs> Kick it out of bounds, and it'll be Ice starting with the ball at the 40-yard line. So Modus just says, hey, I'm not trying to do anything scummy. I'm just kicking it out of bounds. And so Ice, he's the home team. He's in the green tops, white pants. Modus is in the all-white. And here comes Ice with Michael Vick. Throws it to the flats. There's Franco Harris. We know he's got a truck stick, and he'll pick up eight. West Coast book at a Don't Care About Ice, you'll see there. Uh, the defensive book uh, going to be Detroit for Modus. Uh, and like you said, Franco is just a man amongst boys when it comes out there hitting people. So second and two, just shy of midfield. Started off with great field position. He's got Ricky Williams in the backfield. I expect to see a lot of passes coming from Ice. He went ahead and gave 128 of his cap to that Michael Vick. Went with the full power up, put the conductor and the gunslinger on him. You've got to figure he's going to air this ball out quite often. Going to use his legs here. There's the playmaker, and he'll just throw it away. Was trying to work the B receiver up the field, but will smartly just face the third and short. Detroit defensive playbook, Adam Modis. He said he feels most comfortable in nickel, no matter what nickel it is. He says he's got some nickel normal plays. said he's got some stuff out of 3-3-5 that he likes. said you will see him in normal more often than not. Needs two yards here. Needs to get to midfield. Right there on the NFL shield. We'll get some adjustments here. We got an early timeout by Modus. Want to go in and make sure he was ready for this big third and two. I'm okay with using timeouts in the first half as needed. Yeah, they're not quite as important in the first half as they are in the second half. Um, you're even used to seeing a lot of players who, if they uh, if their opponent says, I'm, no, I'm not going to give you that free five yards on the delay game, you'll even see him make quite a few subs, then call their timeout to get another 60 seconds to do it again. Picking up the first down, there's Franco Harris again. Boy, he's a full load when he starts going downhill. And it'll be a new set of downs in plus territory. This at the 46. Vic, nice job picking up the blitz. And there's Harris. Hey, if you give it to him, he'll take it. Give it to him every time. Those flats and Franco are going to be a great combination. It's going to be hard to take him down one-on-one. -on -one. Eventually, he is going to little boy one of these people to try to take him down. Second and two now from the 38. Vic. So calm in the pocket as this one deflected at the line. And it'll be third and two once again. You see Vic's able to get rid of the ball there with that gunslinger. Maybe without that ability, he doesn't get that off and he eats the sack. But instead, he lives to see another play. Both these guys swinging in their chair here, right to left. Now, that's either a sign of a lot of nerves or a sign of zero nerves whatsoever. Hey, maybe just hanging out here. Flips the bunch there. Doesn't like what he saw on that side. Uh, but Modis actually flips his defense, which you won't see a ton of people do because they're scared of getting quick snapped. And there is Vic. Has a wide open Amari Cooper, and that's six. And that's exactly what happened to Modus there. He flips that defense, gets caught in a just a just no adjustment base zone defense, which is going to be super easy to play maker up the field. Nobody behind him in that cover two shell. And Amari Cooper hasn't seen a touchdown that easy since he's been in Dallas. So they make the extra point to make it 7-0. And now it'll be Modus's chance here. And he'll start at the 37-yard line. The I mean, did he just come from the job interview, or is the job interview later? I'm just, just trying to figure this all out. This is a business trip, <laughs> period. Uh, the first thing that's, that uh, stood out to me when I was uh, talking with Modus and looking at his uh, roster before the tournament today, he's got a 90-cap left tackle. And an, uh, uh, excuse me, 90 overall left tackle and an 88 overall right tackle. Uh, the two highest overalls I saw on any tackles uh, when it came to rosters. Uh, he said he was more worried about getting his pocket set and being able to step up in that pocket and being able to pick up the outside pressures, which seem to be the meta uh, in Madden right now. 
I really like the fact that he's got two super high tackles. Don't care about Ice taking time to taking his time to decline that delay of game. Wanted to get some H2O in the system. He's uh, he's awfully confident over there. Just talking to people off screen. He's got you, no time. Yeah, the youngster, the little guy. You put me in that box. You gotta you gotta bring out the wide angle lens. He's well back from the system. You see how Modus is right up on it. Yeah, he's leaning in. He's in. Yeah, don't care about ice. He's almost on the back of the stage. Yeah, it's almost it's like going through his body language. It's almost as if he's not taking this game 100% serious. Like he's rocking back and forth. He's speaking with the admins on the side here. He's playing further back from the TV than what we're used to most people. So we got a timeout here by Modus. If you're wondering what the heck is going on here, I'm actually looking at Modus' screen here. Uh, he's, he's going through a couple audible situations here. And um, they're, looking over at the ad, they're looking over at the admins right now. So that tells me we got a little something coming on. Maybe, maybe a controller issue. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. Uh, we'll let them sort that thing out. We had a 7 nothing game, 341 to go in the first. And uh, Ice with a nice opening drive, and now Modus uh, is trying to respond. And something tells me that, hey, this is his opening drive. Uh, there's got to be something going on down there. Most definitely. The biggest difference from their offense is uh, just Conductor Vic for Modus instead of the Conductor and the Gunslinger. When I asked him why he didn't want both of them, he said he needed the cap on defense. All right, here we go. We got it all sorted out. And we're ready to go here. He's already burned two timeouts. One on defense to set everything up he wanted on that first drive. And now he's used another timeout. Yeah, if nothing else, that's peace of mind there. You know you're not going to have to burn another timeout because you don't have the correct formation sub. You don't have the correct formation audible as well. Uh, great job of using those in the first half. He hands it off here to Ricky Williams, and he gets a yard. Now, offensive-wise, as far as abilities and such for Modis, uh, three different wide receivers with an ability. His uh, Tyreek has got a playmaker. He's also got the elite on his Ricky Williams for route specialist to be able to throw some of those table routes out of the backfield. Uh, and then, of course, the deep route specialist with Randy Moss. Moss cross seems to be about the hardest thing to stop in this game. Yes, indeed. Second and nine. You go right back to it. This time it's Ricky Williams. And I tell you what, if you're 31 years old, I know you're I know you're going to run the rock. You got to. It, it, I, one of the biggest age discrepancies when it comes to one-on-one -on -one games in the club championship this year, uh, Modus, 31 years veteran, Ice, just 19. You got to check an identification there. He's, he's somewhere in that 13 or 14 range. And Modus, is, he's at least 60. Great spin there by Ricky. That'll Beats move him down to the defenders. 40 yard line. Look at it again. I mean, he's confident in his running game. Gets a nice kick out block there. Just spins through two of them. That's really good stick there. Way to go, defense. Way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so. So we are receiving word from our admins that a lot of that, that some of that delay was. Uh, it was an unsportsmanlike conduct, and we're not sure on which competitor yet. It was on Don't Care About Ice for a little bit of screen glancing. I mean, that's that's old school Madden. So when you play with your brother, you put the cardboard box in between <laughs> so he can't see your side of the uh, TV there. I remember those days. I might have played Halo with the split screen on top and bottom, you know, underneath with the, with the cardboard on top. I might have done that. Throw on a little need for speed and just, you know, just, you can't see my track here, sir. So second and three, that's what that delay was, in case we were wondering. And we're right back at it. I'm not, I'm not saying Ice is a little scummy. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying he, he's, he's like a ninja. It might not just be Ice that he doesn't care about. <laughs> Third and two. I've peeked over there a few times. Come on, come on, Gresham. You peeked over there a few times. Look, one thing I will never do is indict myself. <laughs> I have never looked at anyone else's screen. Fourth and three. And it is a 50-yarder. That's up and good. So that gets Modus on the board. 
both teams getting points off their early drives. Now, one thing I like to do there, if I hit my first field goal, so that was from 50, probably had maybe three more yards he could be good from. So you figure, okay, I might be able to get to the 35 and still be okay, 36, and I'll be okay. That's something you keep in the back of your mind after you hit that first one. So he'll take over the 25-yard line. Boy, our admin's all over it. It's been a long time since I've seen a screen glancing. I'm down with it, though. He's got one wide open. Yep, and Amari. Cooper is all alone. Splits the seam. Me and my new pants. Just, there's no one that can guard both those routes. You're going to have to cross man one of them and manually guard the other one. I love the play call there. Just a great route combination. You have to, you have to force that defensive player to pick one of them. And when he picks one, you throw to the other one. Just a great job of beating that cover two shell there. If you're going to run that cover two, you've got to make some cross man adjustments. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not running that cover two like that. Never. A great play design there by Ice. And now Modus. Finds himself down 11 here with 53 seconds left in the first. We still got a ton, long way to go here. Just got Modus got to gather himself here and put together another drive. We know he can put up points. He's proven that before he got here, especially with that big win over Lights Out. Double, double, double. Looks like he may have Rico one on one here again. Runs it instead. Trying to represent the New York Jets in San Francisco next week. All 32 teams will find their way to the brand new studio out at EA headquarters there in Redwood City, just on the outskirts of San Francisco. Trying to get some of their hands on that 700,000, maybe take home the top prize of 100 grand. Ice has got both of the safeties only about seven yards deep here. And there's Ricky making a few moves. Modus has got some, he's got some, he's got some stick game. Oh, that's, that's apparent. Most definitely there. I don't love the throw underneath there. I think he had a little more time than what he thought. Boy, Ice is very confident here. I mean, really nothing getting to him right now. now As we move to the second quarter, 14 to three. There you see him just. He's just like, all right, well, let me know when the final is. I'm sure some of that confidence stems from playing over 260 <laughs> games and keeping an 88% win wow. percentage there. He put in the work to feel that way, to feel as comfortable as he is. And converse to that, Modus played 453 games, only winning half, about 55%. Third and six. He's got a crosser wide open. And can't haul it in. Randy with the first drop we've seen all tournament. Not sure if that was a big possession catch or not. Big decision here for Modus. Got to go. Shows the same bunch look. No, oh, it's going to flip it. So bunch to the right. He's got a chance with Tyreek here. That safety's pretty far down on his side. And got to get rid of it. Here comes the heat, and it's picked off. The big fella, the freak. Curse. In the right place at the right time. Hit, caught, and then stumbles. I'm almost giving Vic the tackle there as well. Because if he's That's not laying on the ground. When the, when the screen flips, mm -hmm. anything can happen. Yeah, you get caught go running the wrong direction. You end up running the opposite side direction there. Because that should have been a pick six. He's got great field position after the turnover here at the 30-yard line. Already in field goal range. So you have a chance to push it out to a 14-point lead. But I think he's thinking more. First turnover of the ball game. Eagle, eagle. Orange, orange. Ice in the green. Modus in the all-white. Who's going to play AKG in the final? That's the question right now. And Vic will take off. And he'll walk out of bounds at the 13-yard line. 
Good job not taking any hits there. He probably could have picked up three or four more yards, as you see there. But instead of risking Darius Slay coming in and making a big hit or anything like that, goes ahead and just gets out of bounds. I like where his head's at. So 4.43 to go in the half. Lotus will get the ball on the other side if you're just joining us. And so if he can get a stop here, hold him to three, somehow get a touchdown before the half, I mean, he's right there. Oh, the best thing you can do if you're Modus here and you turn the ball over at your own 30 is you hold him to three. That is what you are that's absolutely, that's exactly right. So second and seven now at the 11. Bunch to the left this time. Vic. Quick throw, and there's Ricky Williams, and he'll take it down to the two-yard line. First and goal. Both players love throwing to Ricky out of the backfield. A little bit of a wheel look there. Just barely gets caught. Almost falls forward into the end zone there to make it a two, true two-possession game. That's the thing about the left-handed quarterback here is assuming he's going to go short to the left side, and then he wheels it up the seam on the right, and he's in business. I think he's going to use some of this clock here. Single back big. That's a grown man formation right there. He'll Ricky's going to take it. off to Ricky, the former Longhorn. He'll get one. And if you're ice, you're not super upset you didn't get in there. You can get 30 more seconds off the clock. You've probably got three chances at scoring here. You're not too upset with that. You want to take those seconds with Somebody you. tell me Ricky Williams is on Big Brother, like Celebrity Big Brother or something like that? I hope so. It'll give me a reason to watch. It's been a long time since I watched some Big Brother. But if Ricky's on it, <laughs> as much watch TV, I can tell you that. First and, uh, excuse me, second and goal from the one. Got Franco, a fullback there. Got to watch out for Ice the is going to take his time here. I think he's okay if it's third down. And he'll pitch it to the outside. Ricky Williams will walk into the end zone. Keep it classy. And with this PAT, 21 to three. Untouched, great lead block by Franco there. Gets in, gives him a little. Now, now it, to you, is that the Tony Ayo or is that the John Cena? That's the John Cena That's the for John me. Cena, all right. Now what, I figured, what are you going with? I mean, you figure if, if Modus is from Long Island, yeah. he's here to shout out all the boroughs. That's true. It's gotta be a Tony Ayo thing. I would say so. But he's the one getting swagged on. <laughs> he's not doing the swagging. Let us know out there in the chat what you think. I'm a Cena guy myself. Second and 13. Ball at the 34, and this is a such, it's so cliche here, Groshi, but it's must score. Must score situation. This is as much score as it will ever get with two minutes to go Gotta in the second quarter. Got to get at least three, and then you need a touchdown on the other side of the half. Yeah, his, his big advantage here is the fact that he gets that ball after half. That's where he can hang his hat on for this possession until he scores. Good job hitting the flats there when you feel all that pressure. Hey, you take your two yards. And now we got to hurry up into third and 12. Looks like Ice is taking advantage of using the uh, computer auto flip. I know he's running 3-3-5 odd. Uh, when she said he didn't have a problem with auto flipping because he doesn't necessarily blitz every single play, he actually felt a little more comfortable with the auto flip. First person I've seen in the auto flip today. Needs 12 yards to keep the drive alive. And we're going to be hitting the two-minute warning right here and nearly picked off. Almost the second tip pick for Ice here this game. Great usage of the swap button there. Knew he wasn't going to get the user pick. Instead, just knocked that ball out of the way and almost got the pick on the back end. So fourth down with 12 to go here. Ball at the 36-yard line. May have Reek one-on-one. Ice with a big lead here, 21 to three. Huge down, Vic. Picks up the blitz. Let's it go. We got to get to the. Oh, man. Cover two shell, fourth and 12. You can't take anything underneath. You got to make sure that every single one of your routes reaches the sticks. It's night train lane over there. It doesn't matter which way you spin. 
That's yeah, that, that's a little bit hurtful there. On fourth and 12, you got to make sure your route goes at least 12 yards. And you got to catch it beyond the marker. Uh, and there is Dion. Can't rely on that spin to get you the first down. And so that turnover on downs, and now Ice is in business again, second and inches. Again, already in field goal range. Even the field goal is going to make it a three-score game. He wants to make it slight more. I'm looking at Donnie Moore's Twitter poll here. Who will win the New York Jets club championship? 80, uh, excuse me, 57%. I had to lean in a little closer there. 57% said AKG. 38 said don't care about ice. That might be the final we have. Certainly looking like it right now. And you got to figure any score here from ice pretty much puts the pressure completely on Modis to score seven every drive for the rest of the game. By 20, by 90. Has an 18 point deficit and doesn't have the ball with one minute to go in the half. Don't care about ice has all three timeouts. So he gets to the outside, Franco Harris. Doesn't need the truck stick, my friend, and spins his way into the end zone. And the route is officially on. The floodgates are beginning to open. Boy, I, 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 I may have to check with the admins here. I know different majors, we got different rules, things like that. But I think it's 24 and ball, right? There in the second half. Now, Modis has a chance at two possessions here, a quick 47-second possession, then, of course, the ball again after half. Best-case scenario, you put up seven, you put up seven again, you make it a 13-point game. Yeah, that's got to be what's on his mind right now. Not totally out of the woods yet. Shows pressure from the right side here. Now we got a confirmation from our admins. And I, and I thought that was the case. In the club championship, you play it out. Just like they do every Sunday on the field. No throwing in of any towels. So there'll be no mercy rule. Not saying it's going to come to that. But Modus has got to get in gear here. With only 42 seconds left. No timeouts. Vic barking out the orders. Down by 25. Picks up the blitz. But here it comes up the middle. And if I'm ice, I use a timeout here. He's definitely got a chance to get the ball back. Let's see, does he go ahead and do that? And he doesn't. And that, that might be a sportsmanship thing. I'm, I'm trying to give a little credit here to don't care about ice. Uh, going up top, and it'll be fourth down. And Modis doing the correct thing here. Going to go ahead and punt. Doesn't want to guarantee three points for Ice here. Have to punt this ball. Yeah, that'll make a full four-score game. 28 to three. He's going for it. Says I don't need no stinking punts. At his own 23 with 20. Four yards to go. Looking like it could be a bleacher blitz here. It's exactly what comes. And he throws right at the bleacher blitz. That's really good awareness. But it's not going to pick up 24 yards. You need 24. It was the right play. It just wasn't the right time. That's exactly how you beat that blitz. That's not exactly how you beat that blitz if it's fourth and 24, however. Good play call, just not the right time for yeah, it. You got a high ball. You got a high ball Moss there. And just hope. Hope he comes down with a miracle. Yeah, you got to have Moss on a crossing route and just let Dion and Tyreek go. And he'll hand it off to Ricky Williams here. And I, I'm not sure he's even going to kick the field goal. I mean, I think this is a sportsmanship here, right here, but don't care about ice. And as I say it, he's going to take his three. And, and I think that's the right thing to do. I mean, it's the first half. Yeah, you, you can't, you never know what's going to happen in that second half. You absolutely never know. These points. I've seen some wild Madden in my days, even at Man. the highest level. Do we need to revisit last year's Madden challenge between Drini and Kiv? Where it was 6-3 to three at the halftime, and then the wheels what, just came three off. Three consecutive turnovers? Is that what it, Yeah. Man. Remember Stevie J last year in the, uh, the Ultimate League where he fumbled on back-to-back -back kickoffs? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, completely turned his entire season around after that. It's tough to come back from that. And Modus is going to get the ball to start in the second half. Remember, AKG already standing by, waiting in the final. Looks like it's going to be don't care about ice. We've still got 10 minutes to go here. We're trying to find out who's going to represent the New York Jets in next week's Madden Club Championship out in San Francisco in the brand new Madden Studios. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it live in person. And what it's going to be like to have 32 of the best Madden players all representing the teams from the league. 31 points in the first half is, is a lot. And that was nearly another one. Almost a pick six there off a tip drill. Great pressure off the edge there. Just came in untouched. Absolutely no time to make any decisions if you're going to get screamed at that quickly. So second and ten. Assume if Ice can come up with a stop here on this set of downs that he's going to try to put this one in the fridge. He's really going to try to milk that clock. Modus looking downfield. He's got a ton of pressure. Lucky, just an incomplete pass. That's going to bring up third and ten. Could have been third and 23. Vic just barely gets that ball away. Everything is blanketed downfield. That was close to being a coverage sack there. Dion solo to the right. The bunch is to the left. Here on third and 10. Expecting pressure from the left here. Moves his running back to try to counteract that. It's either going to block him or be a table route directly at him. He's going to block him. There's Night Train Lane once again. Is that the best helmet in the game? He'll let, yeah, oh, absolutely. Number one, I mean, Paul Krause is rocking it too. He's out there. But come on, man. I mean, it's Night Train Lane over there. I mean, it's, the flats are not open. Yeah. Even if they're open, they're really not open. And Amos behind him as well to be able, like, if you beat one of them, now you got to beat the other one. Reminds me of Madden 17. I think Landon Collins Oof. at the end of the year was. People are putting him in the cover, cover two hard two flats yeah. Yeah, over there, and he was lighting up kids. Fourth and nine. Vic has time, has a man that's picked off. Lurked. And this is Jamal Adams. Playing a little sim there on his roster. You Making sure him. he's got the Jets' actual representation. You might know him from the New York Jets. And it is all don't care about ice. I think we're in, in for an incredible final coming up. Between no, I got to know. AKG and ice. I got to know if he's got Jamal Adams out here. Does that mean Marcus Mays hanging out on our bench? <laughs> I mean, it's getting to be that time. Can we get some burn? Possibly. Take a look at that interception one more time. And I'm not sure why you don't have accelerate clock on here. Single back big is the most notorious clock milking formation in Madden history right here. It's so nice because you can, you know, it's it's a symmetrical formation, so you can you can flip it, you can do all kind of things without the defense even knowing what you're doing. Yeah, default crossing routes to some of the tight ends and some of their plays. It's a it's a really effective formation, whether you are trying to run the ball, pass the ball, milk the clock, or score quickly. And I'm telling you what, Ricky Williams gets you one on one and trucks you. He might be going to the house. Third and three. All don't care about ice in a 31-3 ball game. Spins, carries Slay for a few yards, and it'll be fourth and inches, and he'll punt it away. Ricky just wanted that first down more than they wanted to tackle him. Just barely gets caught. First punt we'll see this tournament for don't care about ice. He's going to let this run down. And then punt it away. It's the unicorn of Madden. You don't see a lot of punts. We saw AKG do it masterfully earlier in semifinal number one. And it's a perfect punt. And will it check up? And it'll bounce to the corner and go out of bounds at the one yard line. So you're telling me that the two Jets finalists <laughs> potentially have the greatest boots in Madden punting history. That was, the, as far as I know, Paul Bearer is somewhere on the sidelines. That was so coffin <laughs> corner. Who's your favorite punter of all time? Tressway. Tressway. Mine's Chris Gardaki. 
the real answer is Johnny Townsend. Johnny. But he's not a professional yet, so I'm not sure <laughs> I can give him. It is picked that. off. It's going to be a pick six. Jones into the end zone. I've seen it all. I'm dead. 38-3 pinning this extra point here. Up. Good. Hey, Randall Cunningham wasn't bad either. It's all right. I'm just saying. He had a 90-yard punt one time. And look at that pick. Actually, can I withdraw my answer and actually no. go with Slash, Cordell Stewart? <laughs> He's my favorite everything. Well, those were some fun times under Bill Cowher. He was sort of doing it all. 38 to 3. I'll be honest, Cordell Stewart had nothing on Antoine Randall. Boy, they had, a, they had a ton of versatile guys. Oh, they definitely did. That Come was through such there. a fun team to watch. Had the bus. Doing his thing. Heinz Ward made the best blocking receiver of all time. Uh -huh. Definitely up there. Hey, Fitzgerald's up there too, man. You know who actually gets a, doesn't get a ton of credit for downfield blocking? Clinton Portis did so much downfield blocking in his career. It never got any kind of love for it. From the U, and there's a big time sack. That's going to be a loss of 16. Make it 25 and a half. It's second and 25. Trying to look back and think about the times of AKG and don't care about ice. Just last year? Just last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, semis and it was it was the same team, correct? In the semis last year, if I'm not mistaken. I think you're right. And it was 10-6. 10-6. to six. It was a low-scoring affair. Ice got the win. Of course, won the whole thing. He's trying to defend his title here. He also, uh, I believe he didn't even win his round of 32 game as well, Ice did. Can we give a big shout out to Donnie Moore out there? I Stat mean, czar. We're not, pulling these, we're not pulling these things from the top of the dome. It's, it's, it's the big man Donnie in the Madden Bible, not to be confused with z -Farls, But he more puts all our guy. stats together uh, from years back, and he makes us sound pretty smart. So a big shout out to Donnie Moore. Fourth and 25 from Modus here. Going to need anything that he can get here. It's going to have to be a streak to whoever's isolated on the right here. So fourth and 25. Just your basic Madden fourth and 25 here. But when you think about don't care about ice, 19 years old, he's 172, oh, excuse me, 7,500. Uh, he's about, about to add another 1,000 to that with this win here. He increased that any more, even more with a win in the final. But he's tough. I mean, when I even look back at the Madden Classic, that game against Skimbo, who won it all for his third belt in back-to-back -back Madden Classic championships, Ice could have very easily beat him. Maybe he should have beat him. Say, Skimbo probably struggled more with him that tournament than he did almost anyone until he played Little Man. Uh, those were probably his two biggest struggle games the entire weekend. Uh, Ice is another one of those players that not a lot of people recognize, so he tends to get overlooked. Uh, and you can tell that really, that really affects him, and he wants, he wants to make sure everyone knows his name. He's got it at the 11-yard line. And second and 10. You know, and the, the, the fun thing about both Ice and AKG, I don't think they showed a lot of their cards in these first two games. So I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what you're going to get in the final. It, it could be a, a, an absolute barn burner, or we could have another 10-6 ball game. Yeah, speaking to them both before the tournament, uh, they both felt like they were going to play each other in the finals. Um, and both even made mention of they want to make sure that they don't have to show their entire offense so that way they can have some wrinkles that the other one hasn't seen. It's going to be interesting to uh, see Conductor Vic from AKG against Conductor Gunslinger from Ice. I like it. Boy, he's calling out AKG already. Saying who's next. <laughs> no question about it. AKG is coming up next. It's going to be taking on Ice. Put your fours up. It has been all that young man right there.
Oh, oh yeah. man. A little confident there. I like that. He's got a lot of swag. Definitely. Uh, who, who's the other guy, the youngster? Spoto? Yeah. Spoto is a guy that will, uh, he can throw many different kind of bombs. <laughs> that is very during true. A, during a game. That is very, very true. 41 to 3. Big hit there by Sean T. Well, I, I'm not sure at this point that Moda shouldn't be trying to work a little bit of the clock, too. You know, at this point, I'm just thinking, man, get me out of there. There's AKG. There he is, rocking and rolling. Didn't seem concerned about that point. Good kid, good youngster. And uh, I tell you what, you got ice and you got AKG. Uh, the, the Jets are going to have someone that is, is really going to make some people fear out there to face a guy like that. Those are, those are two guys I don't, I don't want them in my, my opening round games in San Francisco next week. Because it's a wild card. They're, they're both absolute wild cards. That's not a matchup that you want, especially when you, when you understand how much they have to lose. Don't care about ices. Like all he cares about is that belt. He is he's after nothing else. He will put it all on the line. I'm he not saying I, I I might rather play Skimbo. I might rather I'm play Kim. You, at least at you least know what's I, coming. At least I know what I get. And there's a little bright spot here for Modus as he finally gets down to the red zone, push out of bounds. No, it's gonna say inbounds at the 15 yard line. Clock still on the move. Got it off just before the sack. Missed hit stick there. Spin evades it. Just didn't have the stamina to make it all the way upfield there. Sean Taylor forces him at, uh, to the ground at the 15 yard line. Four minutes to go. Now what's crazy, there's four minutes to go in the game and before those two passes, Modis was stuck on five total yards and then just went 80 on that drive. Way to stand up for yourself. Get yourself your touchdown in the Jets League. Wipe your brow off. Qualify again next year and get your revenge. That's what it's all about. This is a wide open Randy Moss. And now he's in double figures at 10. 41 to 10. All right, got one. I got one. Yeah, there you go. Forty-one to ten. So we're gonna have AKG and don't care about ice. Remember, it was just last year. Same format. Same. I mean, different location. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that's different. Everything else is the same. Uh, and obviously, one big difference is the game is different. Definitely. It's not Madden 18. It's Madden 19. And year over year, and even patch to patch, uh, there's tiny nuances that make these guys great. You got to overcome all that. Look at that. Look how many people are up in the box here. I believe he's got Eric Mangini, 12th man in the box right now as well. <laughs> Second and four. Moss up top. And we'll hand it off to Williams. You've got to figure Ice wants to do exactly what he did last year, represent his favorite team, the New York J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Well, that's all, uh, yeah, that's what it's all about, Groshi. I mean, you know, the, the 5K, I mean, no one's going to turn down that. They're going to say, nah, nah, bro, I'm good. They, they're going to take, they're going to put that in your pocket. But it's all about when you get out there among the other 32 teams that I'm the Jets. That's right. No one else hears the Jets. I'm the Jets. And, and that's what makes this a club championship so much different than the other majors that we do. And John Madden football, there's, there's a lot of pride on the line, a lot of team pride. Yeah, you're no longer just representing yourself or representing your crew or representing your hometown. You're representing an entire organization. So he'll punt it away once again. Modis will take it at his own 27. Dion gets past Floyd almost. It's tripped up by the former Bulldog, and he'll take over at the 42-yard line with 2.06 to go. Now let's see can Modis get another score under his belt here. Get himself co confidence going into the rest of this competitive season. He's put himself in some tough situations. 
Two times ago, he had the ball at the half yard line. End up throwing a pick six. But last time he had it, he drove down, scored a touchdown. Had two nice passes. Let's see what he does here. Here comes a double blitz. Good job finding it to the outside. Don't just, care about Ice has just done a great job making those solo tackles. Oh, definitely has. He's giving him the flats and then making sure that he makes the tackle one-on-one, -on -one, not relying on any defense, any AI, anything like that. Second and two now at the two-minute warning. Ball dead right there at midfield. Right there on the shield. Something that's very unique to MetLife Stadium. Shared stadium there in New York. It'll be interesting. See, these shared stadiums will have one in L.A. soon enough. Will they adopt the shield in the midfield? Uh, it certainly makes it easier. I, the way the Chargers played this year, they seem to play <laughs> a lot better away from L.A. than they did in L.A. Maybe they, maybe they don't want their logo there. <laughs> and I don't think they want to see that big ram head either when you're trying to come out and represent the, the Super Chargers. Still my favorite jersey of all time, the powder blue Super Chargers. Oh, it's, it's, it's unreal. Little Kelvin Winslow Sr., Dan Fouts. Of course, the New York Jets. I mean, you can, the laundry list, the sack exchange. You had a guy by the name of Broadway Joe. <laughs> I've heard of him. He's an actor, old, right? Oh, yeah, old Joel Namath. He wasn't a bad one as well. Dual pressure off the right side. Every play seemed to be the exact same thing. Getting two off the right side just hasn't been an adjustment yet for Modis, and that's how he got himself into this situation. Now, don't care about ice. He has that Broadway Joe kind of swag. Of, hey, man, if you ask him to guarantee a win, I think he, I think he would do it. That's how confident he is. He's going to have AKG next, though, and it will be picked off. User pick in the back of the end zone by ice there making sure the hands stay warm for the finals. In the final minute here in this ball game, 58 ticks to go before we have Don't Care About Ice taking on AKG. Eagle, Eagle. Baseline two. I think that's the fourth interception by Ice. Big hit there by Barr. Real big hit by Barr. Took a little frustration out on that one. That was, I'm down by 31 points. Let me hit you in the chest one time. Boy, I tell you what, I haven't seen a lot of Anthony Barr this year. He's not the quite the user that he was last year. Sure. I think, especially in salary cap mode, that Josh Jones has sort of taken right. over that role. Mm -hmm. Lower cap, higher speed, higher hit power. The height at that point, you know, obviously Barr's going to have the height advantage, but... You haven't needed that as much this year. Exactly. I mean, you'll take it if you got it. But I think speed, more than ever, having that range with that user is a huge amount. And this will probably be the final play of the ball game. Ricky Williams told to it to him. They usually say, run, Ricky, run. And that'll be it. Good show of sportsmanship between those two guys in a 41 to 10 ball game. Don't care about ice. We'll be moving on to the final for his second year in a row. Boy, he looks he looks beyond his years. I can tell you that. He's going to try.